feel alone, isolated, or depressed with your situation or your life, then this video is for you. Maybe. See, you might not like what I have to say, but I am going to be completely honest with you as I always am. This is Messy Mondays after all. We might cover the truth with a joke or some sarcasm or something, but at the end of the day, at its core, I am trying to hurt you with truth. Whoa, a new episode of Messy Mondays? Hey, if you want a free Messy Mondays t-shirt, you can get one at supportblimeycow.com. We just switched off of Patreon, and now you can support us directly on our website. So go to supportblimeycow.com for all the details. We want to see you over there in our community. Also, thank you to Anderson University for sponsoring this video. I don't think most people actually want to get better. I just said it. Just right off the bat, just to, just so that you know exactly how I feel. One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to get well? Uh, sir? The invalid replied, What are you talking about? Look, I know that this, this is gonna, this might offend you, okay? But do you actually want to get well? How dare you, sir? I'm offended by- yeah, I'm out of here. Actually, I'm paralyzed. I can't go anywhere. Look, and I know we're straying from the Bible a little bit, but you, you say, yes, you do want to get well, and then I heal you. So just act like you're not offended, and, and then we'll just go from okay, there. Whatever. Okay, whatever. Yeah, heal me. Let me start. Do you want to get well? Yes, just do it! We're gonna talk about two kinds of people today. Which one are you? Yeah, I'm in therapy, like, three times a week. Oh, they're switching my meds because the ones they have me on are making me feel better. But I just sleep all the time. Anyways, I know I'm not supposed to self-diagnose, but I saw this TikTok that really... And the second kind of person is who this video is actually for. This video is for the ones who are suffering in silence. The ones who, for one reason or another, feel like they aren't allowed to say anything. I think that you can get better. We, we can all get better, okay? But it's gonna be a hard work, and that's why 99% 99.9% .9 of people are content to just be miserable because it's easier than actually trying. Are you willing to try? It is a very direct question. Then, this video is for you. Not, not this guy in the comment who's already explaining to me that therapy is actually good for you. Actually. Yes, I know it was a joke, okay? Clearly therapy has worked very well for you. Here's the problem. Have you ever noticed that Everything is exactly the opposite of what it should be. Thanks to our smartphones, I've got mine right here. It's, I should actually silence this, Josh. Uh, thanks, thanks to smartphones, we're dumber than ever. Thanks to all the pills that they prescribed to us, we've never been more sick. Oh, and a special shout out to mental health awareness. Now we are more aware than ever of mental health and people are just so much more happy now than they were in the 90s. It's, it's amazing. All of these are products that they sell with the promise of a better life. A better life, that is, just outside of our reach. Darn it. Maybe that next gadget, that, that next pill, that next trendy sickness that I, just, I think I probably have. Maybe relief is around the corner. But for now, you're depressed and anxious, sick and sad, scrolling social media for a cure, or perhaps just some kind of validation that you're not crazy. Or maybe validation that you are crazy because then, yes, you could get a lot of followers and God, you can make just so much sweet dough. Well, regardless, there's a good way to handle this loneliness and there's a bad way. So let's talk about the bad way first. Talkers are probably hopeless. I, I hate to say it, but talkers have already found their reward by getting to hear the sound of their own voice while they explain to you how it's all just so impossible. For the talker, that, that, that's enough. They're, that is their healing. They get to say it's impossible. I, I, I don't quite understand how this is satisfying, but just given the fact that all they do is talk and never actually try to improve their situation, that is the conclusion that I have to draw. If you only knew how hard I have it, then you would understand why I am paralyzed with fear and anguish at every turn. I, I do know. <laughs> You spent the last month telling me non-stop. What are you talking about? We've only been talking for 30 minutes. 30 days. You were clean shaven when we started this conversation. I, I just shaved this morning. 
I really have to go to the bathroom. I do too, I just realized it. Talkers just want you to know that they are suffering. And honestly, that's a great first step. You have to admit that you have a problem before you can find the solution. But for the talker, finding the problem is the solution. Name it and claim it. This illness is mine. This one explains me to me. This feeling of validation is better than any pornographic images. <gasps> Just kidding, it's not actually. Hang on a second. Once you find the problem, there is no step two. The illness, the isolation, becomes its own strange community, especially on the internet. Wait, I'm not the only one with debilitating sadness when seeing dead skunks on the side of the road, but yet also, I love the smell of dead skunk! The conflict within me! And once you join that demi-skunk gay sexual furry community, God help us all, you've never felt more supported. Or more depressed. Look, I get that sometimes a situation feels impossible. Fair enough, okay? Maybe your parents are actually terrible and weren't just doing the best that they could, you ungrateful child. Now, there are situations where you legitimately could be paralyzed, metaphorically stuck in one place. Circumstances outside of your control are keeping you captive, but I want you to know that that is like 99.9% .9 not of people out there, okay? So just... Just be willing to do what it is that you need to do to fix the situation. And maybe that's because you don't know what to do or how to fix it. Fair enough. I know some people claim all talkers are probably hopeless, okay? But don't listen to those idiots. If you want to transition from a talker to a walker, here is what you need to do. A walker does not have everything figured out, no. In fact, they might have nothing figured out, literally nothing, but they have one superpower that, again, 99.9% .9 of the population no longer possesses in our post Apple Vision Pro world. The ability to take a single step forward. See, when a walker realizes they have a problem, they have the confidence to name it and tame it. Wow, I, I thought I was the only one that went through this. I thought I was just crazy. This is great, I'm actually encouraged. Do you have like a resource that I can use to help me or? Yeah, it's a special book. Okay. The Bible. Amazing. Oh, okay. Any other books? I mean, yeah, I've got this one. This is a really great book. Okay, but great. In all honesty, seriously, do not sleep on the Bible. It's got a lot of great things to say in there. If you want to take positive steps, then we can talk. But then we have to walk too. I'll walk with you, okay? But you have to come with me. If you just stand back there and keep on talking, I gotta go. I don't want to be around that anymore. Take one step, okay? Don't don't look at the mountain that you have to climb. Just Just take one step. Pick the first thing that has to get done. Don't think about the entire process. Maybe that is skipping the late night snack, cutting off your phone time after a certain hour or going for a walk every morning, talking to someone who can actually mentor you. It really helps to ask yourself, what is the thing that is bothering me the most right now? And if you can answer that question honestly, and then honestly decide what the first step would be to fixing it, not fixing the whole thing, okay, but just the first step, I promise you this this is the first day of the rest of your life. I was just, you know, I'm, I'm scrolling Twitter the other day, X, whatever, and I found this beautiful picture that changed my perspective. I sent it immediately to my brother, changed his life. You, you don't have to give it your all every single day. In fact, it's impossible to do that, but if you show up at least a little bit every day, you will be able to look back and see just how far you've come. I hope you get better, I know you can, but even more than that, I hope that you want to get better. That's the first step. If you want to earn a degree online on your schedule from a university that you trust, then keep listening because this episode is sponsored by our friends over at Anderson University. They've got a lot of online degree programs so that you can earn credits and a degree on your schedule. And if going back to school for two to three years doesn't fit your timeline, Anderson offers online certificates that allow you to start working in as little as six months. Look guys, undergraduate degree holders earn on average over 50% more 
than those without a degree? What if you could earn one conveniently without leaving the comfort of your couch? And AU is a fantastic place to earn a degree or certificate. They focus on self-discovery, spiritual growth, and academic formation for students of every background. It's an accredited university with over 60 undergraduate majors offered. In fact, they just did an entire rebrand to make sure potential students like you know they are a different kind of Christian university. Jesus U. Anderson. So earn that undergraduate or graduate degree you've been considering, or if you're looking for a slightly different path, Anderson certificate programs will give you the in-demand skills you need to get a job fast. You could earn a certificate in healthcare and start making a difference in a hospital for patients in as little as six months, or you could earn a certificate in IT and be on the fast track to one day earning six figures, that's six figs, Josh, without a college degree. Whichever you choose, you can earn your credentials and start working in less than a year. Their next undergraduate and graduate degree programs start this spring, so click on the link below to schedule a no pressure call with one of their awesome counselors and get more info. If you want to earn a degree or certification, just do it online and do it with Anderson University. Click the link in the description right now. Do it. No, that's not how the Bible goes. I, you, you say yes, and then we go to, and then I, we don't. I just heal you. So say yes. Yes. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was it. I really have to go to the bathroom. I do too. I just realized it. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than pornographic images. Porn. Uh, sorry, pornographic. I had to start my. Pornographic. Pornographic images.